exploitation of human beings for personal gain. And it hit me that there are about 32 million slaves worldwide, and a lot of them are in the United States, whether they are um, victims of sex trafficking or labor trafficking. So I just can't stand um, knowing that there are people who are forced to, forced to work, forced to do all sorts of awful things. So while I have freedom, and um, I mean, children, the youngest age that I've heard of being trafficked was 18 months old. And that just, it was over, it was in India, and that's just appalling. To, I mean, it's appalling to everybody, it should be. And we need to, we have freedom, so we need to fight for those who don't have freedom. So, first step in ending human trafficking is raising awareness, and that's why where I something that really needs to be done and people need to know about it and you know that's a lot of reason why things don't get done because nobody stands up and say it. So it almost takes one person to stand up and get the message out and get things going and other people will follow and I just want to tell you that I really appreciate it. Thank God. Uh, the guest here, this is just marvelous and to be a your dream and your project is just something that is humbling. So my name is Hannah Harmon and I am 21 years old from southeast Missouri and I am riding my bike 13,000 miles around the country to start conversations about human trafficking. So we're at like probably 260 miles so far, probably, possibly. But I'll be ending back in Jackson, Missouri, so it's really awesome. And people are like, where did you start and where are you ending? Thanks for the And we respect and appreciate what you're doing. And it's time. It's time that people across this country are standing up to the evils of trafficking and so many other things. And you'll never know how much we respect and appreciate you for taking this stand for the Lord and for these, these people all around the world. And we hear about that and we, well, I don't, we don't know much about that. No. I guess until your lives are personally impacted by that, you don't realize the harm the tragedy of that, but it's, you know, we can't fathom that, it's insane, why would anybody abuse a child or whatever, it's just beyond that, but we respect and appreciate what you're doing, and we just pray that the Lord will protect you with a whole host, uh, host of angels, that you be protected as you go, and I say this for my grandkids, and I'll speak it over you, that you are royally blessed and highly favored in all the earth, and may the creator of the universe use you to change the generation. Thank you. Yes.